Well, here is a good look at Stephen Hansen from Denmark. I remember when I first saw Stephen Hansen about two years ago in Antalya. He was on the team with Martin Damsbo and Patrick. That's right. Yes. Yeah, they won the gold medal in Antalya, and I said, Somebody check his driver's license or his birth certificate. Is he old enough to be here? Oh, and yes, he is. He is definitely. Don't be deceived. He looks young. Boy, he is terrific. But he's got his hands full right now with Mike Schlosser of the Netherlands. Indeed, Mike Schlosser has been just putting on a clinic today. Why well, and all week, and I guess for the past month or so. So this shapes up as a really, really good match right now. But you got to think, Schlosser's got to be the favorite going into this one, the and way he's been shooting. He's chosen to lead off. So he wants to bring it. He wants to put the pressure right on Steve, Stefan Hansen right now, right from the get-go. It's a bit of an interesting line he shoots. He can't argue with the results. Nice. Nice Those start for Hansen. Both solid starts. And again, top target. So Crystal was the only person who chose not the top target to start with. Ten. Inside out. Very nice. Those are enormous fletch with a huge helical. Indoors. I was going to ask you about that. It looked bigger. Yeah, so indoors you can get away with really large fletch and a whole lot of twist on them. And same thing, Mike Schlosser's got it as well. You get larger profile, more drag, as long as you can get clearance from the bow. And with these compounds with the drop away rests, clearance is relatively easy. Nine. And what the what the helical does is it makes the arrow turn, it stabilizes it faster, it corrects it faster. So even though there's less deflection right from the get-go with a compound arrow, a compound bow, those fletch will correct any deflection that there is even faster. And for and those who might be watching archery for the first time, you're talking about the green feathers that are feathers, I call them, but sure. they're actually the fletch, yes. and that's the part of the arrow that Hugh McDonald is referring to right now. Yeah, and so indoors you want as much drag as you can get away with. And there's Patrick, his teammate, Stefan Hansen's teammate from Denmark. Nice break of the shot, nice action on both sides. By the way, Stefan Hansen started his night in the 1-8th round by beating Braden Galantine in a shoot-off. So he got his night rolling in good fashion, in good style. He had, he had his work cut out from him right from the get-go. This, well, and the top 16 in the world, <laughs> that's a huge, huge pile of great archers to overcome to get to this point. But it doesn't has, matter who you're up against, it's a great archer. You're gonna, you're gonna run up against a great guy. Nobody flukes in the top 16 in this game. Not in compound, not in, not in any category. So basically what you're saying is there are no easy wins. No easy W's. Not at all. Trailing. Stefan Hansen will shoot first. And trailing is a bad way to be against Mike Flossen. Because when he gets you down, <laughs> usually he keeps you down. He's just going to keep shooting tens. Ten. <laughs> Stays in front by one. He's just going to keep shooting the same hole. That's <laughs> oh, I've got a hole in the ten ring already. I'll just keep using that one. It'll make life easy. Ooh, a little bit of a flinch there. Yeah, that was a nah. big, yep. Yeah, and it cost him. You could just see a little bit of a flinch in his hand. Anticipating the release going off just a little bit. Mike is rock solid. And moves ahead by two. Nah. Oh, dear. That's a lot of points to give up to Mr. Schlosser. Ten, ten, ten. So he, Mike Schlosser's release actually has a position for his pinky finger. He's just not using it. So you'll see that extra little hook up there. 
I suppose he likes the shape of it, but just doesn't need, doesn't feel the need to get his pinky finger on that hook. Whatever no. he's doing is working well. Mike Schlosser last year, big winner here in Las Vegas here last year. I think he's wearing a belt buckle he, he earned likely last year from, mm -hmm. from the 900 club. Yes. Won that big Vegas round, cashed in big time here in Las Vegas. Been a big factor on the indoor and the outdoor circuit. He's showing a fair amount of dominance in the indoor circuit this year, that's for sure. And right, we'll see if it transfers over into the outdoor circuit. Coming up, as we've already mentioned, it'll be the beginning of May. We'll all be in Shanghai for stage one. Stage two will be in Antalya. Then we'll have a little bit of a time off. Then the World Championships will be in Copenhagen in July. But immediately following that, there's the Poland, Poland World Cup. Wrocław. And then it's Colombia, Medellin in September, followed by Mexico City. For the World Cup final, there's a, also a pre-Olympic test event in Brazil mm -hmm. right in that area as well. Yes. So this is going to be an important season coming up for a lot of people. Start to really dial in on Rio. It's a very, very busy year. Uh, world Archery has four outdoor world championships that they're conducting this year. There's Youth Worlds, there's World Fields, I think, World 3D, and Senior World Outdoor Target. Ten. Automatic Mike Schlosser. <laughs> Another 10. As I say, just been putting on an absolute clinic. And, a nine. and he drops another point, Stefan Hansen. He's really struggling with that third target. Hasn't hit a 10 on it yet. Could be down by four. Ooh. Nine. Oh, oh really nine. It remains three. <laughs> you can hear the murmur go through the crowd. Well, and he's got a good chuckle about it. <laughs> Listen to this crowd. They are applauding the perfection of Mike Schlosser. Well, near perfection, I guess I should say. But that just goes to show that Mike's not a machine. Nope. But you could see just the reaction to the shot. He, it was slightly unexpected. It's kind of reassuring to know that Mike can miss every now and then, that he is human. Yes. So it's a three-point it margin <laughs> right now. Yeah, see, he was trying to will it back in there. Yeah. Trying to use a little body English to get Good that. Good thing a judge didn't come over and ask him what the equipment yeah. failure was. You having problems, Mike? <laughs> yeah, I just missed the 10 ring. Some of the archers who've come from distant parts of the planet to participate here at the Vegas shoot. And there you see the three-point difference between Schlosser and Hansen. Six arrows to go. It's possible. It's within the realm of possibility. It's pretty unlikely. Not highly probable, but possible. As Mike sort of smiles. Hanson really needs to return to his focus. Make sure he's dialed yeah. right, in right in the same hole. And again, Schlosser's filled in that low nine, so it won't distract him, won't catch his eye, won't drag his eye out of the 10. All he wants to be doing is looking at that little black hole that he's set up in the 10 ring, and that'll just suck. That's his target. We, you know, they're, they're, we call them black holes. They suck arrows in. If you've got an aiming <laughs> spot like that, just use it. And you can see on his first target especially, there's barely a hole bigger than his arrow size. He's just plunked his first arrow in that same hole every time. Nice job by Hansen with his last two arrows at that end. Oh. So Mike Schlosser maintains just the three-point lead. And if you're Stefan Hansen, now you're, you've got to try to block it out. But boy, I, I, I don't know how you do that, thinking about the ones that 
man, if I just had a couple more in there, yep. I'm right in there. Yep. I'm right in this match had I just not been off on a couple of shots. You could say that, or you could say if he was, if, if Hansen was at a 118, Schlosser would still be clean because he'd have that little bit of extra drive. Drive to. Yeah. You know, with the buffer that's, if, that Hansen if, set if, up. If, yeah. If, yeah. Can't play the what if game. No. What ends up happening is one of these two guys is going to go away with the gold medal because he'll have outshot the other guy. Doesn't matter. They could shoot nines all day and one guy pops a 10 to win. Or you could shoot tens all day and one guy dumps a nine to lose. You get the feeling we're going to see these two in a lot of gold medal matches over the next, oh, 10, 20 I certainly hope years so. or so. Yeah, They're both very see. young. Yep. It would be nice to see a rivalry come up. Let them enter the fray with the Rio and the Braden and Dehan Sitar sure. and Sergio Pagni and all of those great names that have won so many times. This is the new generation coming up right here on display in this men's compound gold medal match. Is that on the line? I believe that's 10. They're calling it a nine star. Ten. That's a good 10. So even if we presume that that first arrow was a 10, that's a 9. So Schlosser only needs to hold gold to win at this point, which shouldn't be too tricky. Oh, wow. He's barely broken the line on that second target. That's how good he's been on target, too. They've almost all been inside out. There's another 9. He did finally get a 10 there, I think. But he, too many nines down there. And for the gold medal, gold it's a 10. A 10. There, there it is. is. 148, two points off, perfect. Good enough to win. Taking care of business again here in Las Vegas. Mike Schlosser's got to love the South Point Hotel and Casino. <laughs> Yeah, it has been good to him. Of course, he's been good to it, too. There's a banner just off to the right of the main venue, the, the main set of targets here with Mike Flosser's picture as the 2014 champion. And we were talking earlier this week about how maybe his name should be on there in case a few people maybe didn't know who he was. They know now. Yes, yeah, so after this year, there will be very few people who won't know who Mike Flosser is. In fact, that picture can just stay up there. Uh, he hasn't won the Vegas shoot yet. He's just won the World Cup. It's going to be interesting to see, though. He's, He's got gotta to be feeling pretty good about himself right He's now. He's got to have good chance for sure. He's got to shoot another 30 arrows in the, in the recurve size 10. And then he's got to win the shoot off against everybody else who's done that, plus the lucky dog. It's going to be fun tomorrow. That's here what in they Las come Vegas. For, yep. You can make your year winning Las Vegas. Hats off to Stefan Hansen from Denmark. Hats off to all the shooters yep. who were in the medal matches. The, the, the caliber of the competitors is fantastic. To make the medals, you've done well. It's disappointing not to win the gold, but there's only one person who can win the gold. Everybody else can't. And Mike Schlosser fought his way through the field, through the 1-8th round, quarterfinals, semifinals, gold medal match, and emerges victorious here in Vegas.